Hello everybody and how are you? Today we're going to talk of a very simple topic, biology. Now the NEED students, the AFMC students or if you are aspiring for whichever medical examination, uh, bio is going to be your easiest area but, but it's going to be lengthy, huge, heavy, lengthy. What's going to atkofy you is going to be physics. If you sort physics, everything is sorted. But I'm going to discuss with you the important aspects of biology today. As promised, here I am with my team who has given me this another piece of paper with a lot of things involved into it. Of course, I'm going to share all this with you. Even the description, I'm sure you will take that from there. Uh, well, uh, biology is divided into, but before that, I'm not a bio teacher. <laughs> okay? The only biology which I know is my body. Well, biology is divided into diversity of the living world, cell structure and function, zoology, botany, genetics and evolution, biology and human welfare, ecology and the environment. So the first thing that I'm going to discuss is the diversity in the living world. So take notes, mark, use a highlighter, uh, mark out the importance. So these are things which is analyzed from the past papers, uh, from the past trend that has been evolved. So if you only learn this much and go, it's going to do a lot of thing to you in your growth structure. Diversity of the living world. That's the first thing that I'm going to discuss. Um, well, units of classification along with their definition is important. The five kingdom classification is one of the most important topic. You should know the examples of all the five kingdom along with their characteristic properties. Students tend to get confused is what the bio teacher told me to tell you. She tells me to tell you that students tend to get confused in the characteristics of all the kingdoms and tend to mix up the examples of their type. Is that true? Then, then you know what to do. Well, concentrate more on the example as they are um, as they are the favorite questions to be asked by the examiner. That's what the bio teacher tells me and I tell you exactly as she told me to tell you this. And the next topic is uh, cell, its structure and functions. Cell theory, the structure of the prokaryotic and the eukaryotic cell is very important, my teacher tells me to tell you. Also, this, she says that you should know the diagram so that you know how exactly the structure is and then the complex question from this topic will be easy to you. So what she's basically telling me to tell you is, if you know the diagram and the concept properly, then again, I'm telling you, don't focus too much of effort on biology. NCRT book is good enough. You just pick that up, learn that, do past papers, finish. Physics and chemistry is the area where you'll spend more time if you want to succeed. Okay. All constituents of the cell along with their characteristics and functions and examples are very important. This is another chapter in which students tend to mix up examples of functions of different constituents. Is that true again, guys? Why do you do it? You know, there are so many methodologies where you can remember by, by using mnemonics or using techniques or codes or something like that. Do it. Save time. Don't spend time on route topics. Don't spend time on repeated by hearting topics. It's a waste of time. Invest time in concepts and concepts alone. You know, you should never get tricked with, oh, kya tha? No, because memory-based questions should be like this. You should not waste time on factuals and data and by heart materials. It's pointless. Try to focus on carbohydrates as there is a definite question which is seen frequently in many papers. Cell division is another chapter in which students tend to lose marks. So do not lose marks. Now that you know that cell division never choka marks jata hai, so you know where to focus on. Print it, write it, die to everything what it takes. You need to know meiosis and mitosis and both are very important, uh, my teacher tells me to tell you. You should know how the cell looks at various stages of cell division. They may give you a diagram or they may ask you what phase it is. I am also seeing the question papers and it is visible that uh, they give you four questions, they give you four diagrams in one question and tell you identify anaphase. So the diagram concepts are important. You better be knowing that, okay? Uh, a lot of complex questions from cell division you will be able to solve if you know the concept properly. Well, let's move on to botany now. <clears throat> botany, morphology and modification, tissues, anatomy and functions of different parts of flowering plant is important. And we've seen a trend in which there have been questions asked over here. What makes biology difficult is because there's so much of theory. The concepts are minimal. The theory is too much. There's too much to refer, remember. There's too much over there to remember. Cell to cell transport, diffusion, facilitated diffusion, active transportation, imbibition, 
water potential, osmosis absorption, transpiration per root pressure and gutation, transpiration opening and closing of stomata. These are all important topics and concept based questions and there is always questions on this. If you look at the trend of the AIPMT papers or the NEAT papers, you see there are, there are so many questions which are coming on these topics. Um, so you cannot miss them. At the same time, it's easy, you know, you, it's easy and you can't miss them also. Photosynthesis, the site of photosynthesis where it takes place, pigments involved, the C3, the C4 pathway, uh, cyclic, non-cyclic and um, the photophosphorylation, uh, all these things are, are topics which, which definitely come. You can't, actually in biology there's so much of theory, you can't miss that. Uh, we'll also be posting a video in the future where we'll be putting up important questions which we believe will come. Here we're just discussing uh, the topics which come. Over there we discuss the questions which will come. Uh, cellular respiration, glycolysis, glycolysis, fermentation, TCA cycle and electron transport system, energy relation, number of ATP molecules generated, amphibolic pathways, respiratory quotient, all this, you know. Okay, in, in, in respiration and photosynthesis cycle, you should know all the enzymes, coenzymes, cofactors taking part in the reaction. It is a very repetitive question, very, very repetitive, and, and it's also got a probability for you to get it this year, 2017, in which they ask you the enzyme used in a certain step of a reaction. Make sure you do not leave this topic as it will fetch you good amount of marks. And you know, uh, differentiation, de-differentiation and re-differentiation, growth regulators, auxin, blah, 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 you know, all that ethylene and AB, a, a, B, a, and, and all that. These are very important. Do not leave these questions by any chance. Pakka questions is me se aata hai. You should know their functions and how they affect the plant. Questions are assured to come from these papers as the trend has been seen in the past papers, you know. Um, I, I, I've had this fortune to sit with a lot of moderators before I drafted this, you know. I kind of had an interview with a lot of people, a lot of teachers, the who's who uh, teaching biology and we really made a whole list which I am going to share with you in the description. But I want you to listen to this because it plays with your uh, with your auditory also. Types of sexual reproduction, sexual reproduction, asexual in, in flowering plants, flowering structures, development of male, female gametophytes, pollination types, agencies and examples very frequently asked. You know that by now if you just pick up five question papers, you will see a trend in that where they're coming up, you know. Outbreeding devices, double fertilization is one of a very important topic. Post fertilization events, development of endosperms, uh, uh, the embryo, development of the seed and formation of the fruit. They're all important, they all come. Pick up questions and see the trend or listen to this and, and make the trend your style of learning. So what do you learn in a chapter? You don't learn everything because the topper really knows what to learn and where to learn. It's not the more number of books make you a topper, it's the right books that will make you a topper. It's not that if you solve five lakh MCQs, you will top, no. It's knowing that What's the 300 questions or what's the 300 MCQ that you can pick up from a particular chapter and solve it? It's the right question which will get you to the right place. Well, moving on to the next topic, zoology. Animal tissue, morphology, anatomy, functions in different systems, digestive, circulatory, respiratory, nervous, reproductory, uh, they're all important. Um, especially uh, of an insect, cockroach is very important. Cockroach, that's like cockroach. Okay. Very important, almost all the past papers have at least one or two questions on cockroach. Even I think Mission Impossible has something on cockroach. Okay, the role of digestive enzymes and the gastrointestinal hormones. Another favorite topic of the both papers, I think, you know, very favorite topic. Nutritional and digestive disorders, symptoms and causes of disease are very important. Respiratory system in human beings, disorder related to respiration, composition of blood, blood groups, human circulatory system, structure of human heart, vessels, cardiac output, ECG disorders and circulatory system. You should know the modes of the ex excretory system of the human excretory system. Then angiotensin mechanism, the ANF, the ADH and the diabetes insipidus, the contractile proteins and the muscle contraction, skeletal system and its joints. So th this, this looks like vast but you should remember that this is the 11th standard and the 12th standard and the uh, neat syllabus we've taken we've identified those topics which we believe will come and which has got a probability of coming and, and we understood the flavor with which they 
set the examination patterns and questions. That's what we're sharing with you. Uh, the disorders of muscular and skeletal systems are very important. The neural control and coordination, the nervous system in humans, central nervous system, peripheral nervous system, the visceral nervous system, reflex action, structure and function of eye and the ear, chemical coordination and regulation, endocrine glands and the hormones, human endocrine system, uh, the pituitary, the penile, the thyroid, um, adrenal, pancreas, gonads, all of this is the mechanism of hormone, hormone action, hyper and hyperactivity of chemicals and their and their related disorders is important. Now I want to share with you if you want to convert your dreams into reality. Uh, biology is easy, but remember it, it has maximum marks again. See, that's the game that you will play. It's important to know that you can put less effort and get more marks in biology. Remember physics, your effort is going to be more than the result that you get. You got to balance that in physics and chemistry and use that to play to win in biology because biology, your effort is always going to be less than the outcome that you get. So if you know how to use biology, you have to read, 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 read biology from different possible sources that you get, from different possible question papers that you get. You can find out the trend, the, or the kind of questions which gets repeated, etc. You know, in human reproductive system, the male and the female reproductive systems along with the diagram so that you can understand it better. The diagram is important not from the examination point of view, but from your conceptual understanding point of view. Because if you get the diagram registered here by understanding it properly, you are able to solve a lot of questions. I hope you're getting that right. Gametogenesis, spermatogenesis, oogenesis. The menstrual cycle is one of the favorite topics of the board people, the people who said this paper, and they tend to ask it in every paper don't miss that fertilization embryo development implantation pregnancy placenta formation oxidation lactation birth control methods contraception uh, medical termination of pregnancy all these topics I think they're important for life as well um, you should not leave a single disease in zoology um, and you should know them in and out. I'm not mentioning all the names, you know, I'll finish this by evening then. So I'm not mentioning the names, but you must know all of them, all of them. And the next topic now. That is genetics and evolution. But before genetics and evolution, I want to mention that IVF, ZIFT, GIFT, you should know these methods properly as there's always been a question from them. And I'm expecting that there's a question this year also from them, right? So genetics and evolution, deviations from Mendelism. You should know the crosses and the phenotypic and the genotypic ratio. The chromosome theory of inheritance, the sex determination in humans, birds, honeybee, linkage and crossover. Um, crossover, sex-linked inheritance, hemophilia, color blindness, Mendelian disorder in humans. These disease should be known well, and you shouldn't leave any of them. Bilkul nahi chhodna isko. The structure of the DNA and RNA, the DNA replication, the central dogma, transcription, genetic code, translation, lack of wrong DNA fingerprinting. Origin of life, biological evolution and evidences of biological evolution from paleontology, comparative anatomy, embryology and molecular evidence, Darwin's contribution, mechanism of evolution, variation or natural selection with examples, types and natural selection, gene flow, genetic drift, all of this, adaptive radiation, all of this, you know, they really, really come. So, so write and tell me how do you learn biology and what are your challenges of learning biology. So maybe I'll also ask my teachers to comment on this. So maybe they can give you a better interactive way of learning or a better approach to learn. So, so let me know what are your challenges when you learn biology. Do you find it too long? Do you find it confusing? Do you don't know which book to refer? Uh, put in the comment section. Let me know that. Okay. The next topic. Biology and human welfare. Biology and human welfare. So here you have the pathogens, parasites causing human disease, malaria, ascaras, typhoid, uh, pneumonia, cold, blah, 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 all of them. You should know all of these symptoms, causes, remedies of these diseases very thoroughly. And do not mix up these symptoms. Do not mix up these symptoms. Again, theory again. So theory again, you should have mnemonics, some, some way in which you can remember all of this. So once you remember them, do not go back to them because you should register this permanently over here. They're factual and they're theoretical. Use your time for more concepts and conceptual parts, you know, basic concepts of immunology, vaccines, cancer, HIV and AIDS, plant breeding, tissue culture, cell, single cell protein, biofortification, animal husbandry, 
uh, microbes in human welfare in household food processing and industrial production sewage treatment energy generation and biocontrol agents and biofertilizers all types of microbes and their examples are very important and my teacher tells me to tell you that iske upar se ek question ye saal definitely aayega principles and process of biotechnology genetic engineering recombinant dna technology application of biotechnology in health and agriculture a human insulin vaccine production gene therapy genetically modified organisms bt crops examples of these crops and that brings us to the last topic of your bio topic and probability of what to come and what to learn from biology when you're learning for your super specialized doctorate examination ecology and the environment habitat and niche population and ecology adaptation population interaction examples of these are very important the moderator who normally sets the paper for the national level examination tells me that this this question is going to come population and interaction Uh, energy flow pyramids of number biomass energy you should know how to read the pyramid which is another important topic nutrient cycle the new new nutrient cycling you know the carbon and the phosphorus ecology uh, successions biodiversity and its conservation patterns of biodiversity hot spots the uh, endangered organisms uh, extinction red data book biosphere reserves environmental issues air pollution and its control what are pollution and its control uh, agrochemicals and their effects greenhouse effect and the global warming deforestation uh, any three case studies as success stories at, at addressing environmental issues is important now now you must know that if you have to succeed in biology you have to solve as many papers as you can online as well as offline papers if you solve these papers and if you read the right kind of books we can tell you with a surety that in bio you will succeed everything that i've just spoken everything what my teachers gave me everything which is an outcome of the interviews that i had with different teachers of biology they all all invariably said that biology is all about repeated reading of the right books must read the right books i've made some videos in the past in which i've mentioned what books to refer for biology I hope you read those books. My name is Anil Thomas. My team and I would want to read your comments uh, on this video so that we can know what additional videos you need to be listening to. Remember the next video that we'll be making is on how to make physics simple. Uh, and that will come in two parts in the next and the next weeks to come ahead we'll be uploading two different videos in two different parts uh, i want to thank each one of you especially for listening to this um, and especially for subscribing we've crossed a good number of subscription from the last two times that we've posted i want to encourage everyone listening to this to go back to your study room and to study by solving most number of papers and reading the biology books remember you don't study biology when you are really tired it's a lot of a lot of uh, reading a lot of repeated reading so you study it when you're really fresh um, and have a proper posture to study a proper desk a bench sit have paper pencil marker highlighter don't lie don't don't just lie don't be lethargic don't put on music and do it focus with one thing at a time and you will succeed do subscribe to this channel do like this video do write in the comment section what you really got to learn and what you really want to learn my name is anil thomas and with this i'm going to tell you bye from my whole team thank you for watching you should know the modes of excretion the human excretory system renin ah, what is this renin angiotensin mechanism and what is the next one arterial say it at the end i can okay um renin origin of life biological evolution and evidences of biology evolution from paleontology palin freaks tough words they use man paleontology so many difficult words man am um, for what is that amniocentesis infertility reproduction technology ivf zift gift gift is like gift what gift is this ये इकोलॉजी एंड एनवायरमेंट में क्या पकाउ टॉपिक्स है बच्चों के लिए साइकिल एंड एयर पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल आई मीन ये ये बहुत पहले हो जाना चाहिए था ना बच्चों के साथ सी इट्स गुड दैट दे आर पुटिंग दीस टॉपिक्स लाइक कैंसर एचआईवी एड्स इन द सिलेबस लेकिन डू दे रियली टीच देम द वे इट हैज टू बी टॉट डू दे हैव सम रियल केस एग्जांपल्स और इट्स ओनली थ्योरी
How sad now. Students only have theory to deal with this. They should have a lot more interactive sessions with probably patients and hospitals, etc. Oh, 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 oh,